Let's head into the world of sports now. Ayo Balogo is standing by to give us that. Yes, indeed. Anand Fidelis Electrico has been unveiled as the head coach of Heartland FC of Oweri in an event presided over by the Imo State Governor, Emeka Ihedioha. Electrico left MFM FC of Lagos after 13 years to join the Nazi Millionaires last Friday. He says his number one task will be to stabilize the club going into the 2019-2020 Nigeria Professional League football season. Stability is very important. Um, if you look back the um, last four, three, two years in Atlanta Football Club, a lot of struggling in the team. I have to work on stability, that's number one, to make sure that the club is stable. So the club is, from this moment, uh, will not struggle no, again. We'll do everything possible to make sure that the club is stable. And that's a wrap on Sports News. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun, and we'll be back with the rest of the news. Thanks a lot, Ayo. And on entertainment news tonight, Nollywood actor Chinwe Talo Ago shares interesting details of his humble beginnings. Here's Maya Wao Gundele with the details and other entertainment stories. 20 thanks. Here are your trending entertainment stories. Veteran Hollywood actor Chiwetalo Agu has revealed that his crossover from television acting to the movies did throw some hard times in his direction. He explained to Entertainment News on Channel's television that he had to sleep on the bridge for about a month when he first arrived Lagos from Enugu. The bench, uh, passengers stayed to enter train to either Kano or Kaduna. Can you imagine, manage it? I said I can manage it. Meanwhile, another Nollywood actor has earned a boost for his dreams of making music professionally. Grey bearded actor Harry Anya, who now going by the alias Harry B, records an official single demo with another upstart, Slim Brown, after many months of freestyling on social media. Acclaimed Nollywood director Niyaki Molayo credited with movies such as Arbitration, Wedding Party 2, and Chief Daddy as premiered his latest work, Setup. A thriller Nollywood veteran, Jocke Silver says, is not the usual serving as far as the industry is concerned. With the plot mostly driven by women, Setup weaves a web of lies, love, revenge, greed, and devious scheming wrapped around the main characters, played by Silver, Adesu Itomi Wellington, Sinamba, Dakori Akonde, Tende Bankole, and Ayola Ayola. And that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching. The main news returns shortly. Thank you, Mayowa. And the main news again. The Department of State Services today vowed to comply with the Kaduna State High Court order, which granted Shahid's leader, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki, and his wife, Zinat, leave to seek medical attention in India. Also today, the Revolution Now protest began in some states despite the arrest of the group's leader, Omoyale Shawara, and the restriction order by the police. The president, however, commended Nigerians for ignoring the protest, noting that it's a win for democracy. And then the Middle Belt Forum today asked the federal government to prescribe Fulani herdsmen whom they accuse of committing genocide against their people. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Wawadu. Good night.